plug that back in, start it up. It's shaking, it ain't vibrating, it ain't doing nothing. So that's what it was. Right, sure, I guess I'll keep it so when I do need it. When the thing sounds so better. This right here, it will fire up and everything. Oh shoot, I ain't got to do no tune up. That's a good thing. Just about to clean up in here a little bit. See if I can get this all. Uh, the heat and the air can come through the vents. See if I can do that. Once I do that, shoot. Because of this spot plug right here, this spot plug wire right here. I still gotta change the upper and lower radiator hose. I'm gonna do that. Sunday, the 28th, August 28th, and yeah, I made it to a pull apart, get some pieces for this van, don't pull over, what you got going on, yeah, I'm headed to pull apart to get some pieces for this van, and yeah, that's pretty much it, I don't know, uh, You know, took the uh, inside of the cabin thing apart to see what's what. And reason it was driving the way that it was driving, my dang gone spark plug wire wasn't hooked up to the distributor. So it was skipping, it was giving me codes and everything about, you know, a misfire and all that. I don't bought spark plugs, spark plug wires. I don't bought all, dang, he almost hit that bird. Yeah, I don't bought all that. Come to find out. Spot plug wire wasn't even hooked up. So, you know, I got all that extra. And then I'm on my way to the uh, pull apart to get this little piece because I'm thinking it's my upper radiator hose that's busted. It's a little small uh, hose that goes to the water pump. It was just skeeting out water. So, yeah, that's where I'm headed to. About to go on over there and do that. Get back to the house since it's still early. The pull apart ain't even open yet, so yeah, I'm trying to hurry up get there and get back. Yeah, sorry for the delays though, man. And ladies, I'm just gonna start saying peoples. You know, I'm still used to this YouTube stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry for the delays, people. Man, we done had a lot go on in our family the past two months. I mean, my auntie. She passed the end of uh, she passed the end of June, you know, with an illness, you know. So we were dealing with that. Then the end of July, my brother-in-law he passed in the house fire. You know, our bad Ben told y'all that we had moved or whatever, and my brother-in-law and my mother-in-law they moved in our old house, you know. You know, doing it that way, and one thing led to another. And he came home one night and tried to, uh, he was cooking something for his dinner for night shift because he worked night shift. And he fell asleep and he thought he turned the oven on, but he had the stove on and grease was in, in a pot and it burnt the house. So, lost my brother-in-law but July 24th 
last month, so yeah, my family, we don't, we been here hard. And then I had COVID not too long ago. That stuff wasn't no joke. I mean, I, my wife had it first, and then I had it. So, man, these past couple months, it's been hectic on you, but I'm just not getting over that. So, yeah. Last week, really? Last week? Yeah, last week, my first time, first time going back to work, because I was out for COVID. The week before that, I just started back going back to work, so, yeah, we've been going through So, yeah, I mean, I ain't stopped doing stuff to the cars, you know. My wife, 500, I done got the brake caliber on there. Uh, I done changed the spot, oh, not spot, but I changed the oil. I done changed the front brakes. I changed the back brakes. Like I said, I had to do the caliber on the driver's side, because it real driver's side, because it was stuck. So I did that. I changed the motor mount. All that I gotta do now, is, I wanna say is put rotors on it. And uh, I gotta do the axles for the front. You know, once I do that, we good on her 500. The Regal, I had to drop the gas tank for no reason, thinking my gas or filter was messed up. Come to find out, it was my regulator. So I did all that for no reason. I don't bought a regulator, I don't bought the fuel pump, I don't bought all type of stuff thinking it was that. But come to find out, it was my regulator. So I put that together. Now my Regal, you know, it's doing what it's supposed to do. I just got to work on my floor pan, which I put that on hold to work on this van. You know, I'm trying to do my own thing, get my own thing out there. Uh, this uh, job is good to have. You know, I'd rather work on my own. I'd rather work by myself. I'd rather be my own boss. So, you know, working on the van now. And when you see what I did to the van, you seen the, uh, the progress I done did to the van. So, yeah. That's what we headed to now though. I just wanted to show y'all. I, mean, I just wanted to, you know, let y'all know what's been going on over here. I said I was gonna be making shorts and stuff like that. I made a couple, but you know if you subscribe, you see I, I'm, I appreciate it. I appreciate the uh, subscribers that I do have. I have, you know, 40. Hopefully at the end of this year we'll reach a hundred. You know, that's my goal, 100 subscribers by the end of this year. But I know I got to do my part for y'all. I know that much. So, you know, videos are going to be coming because, you know, I've been slacking. Not by choice. Yeah, I've been slacking. The skills, the lighting, you know, I'm going, what, west. You know, the sun rise on the east. We stay on the east side. excuse that I had it hooked to this uh, windshield. Let me get that off. Alright. Yeah, I had the camera hooked to the windshield. My bad, peoples. Over here, you get it live and uncut. <laughs> I don't even want to do nothing. You know, 
I ain't even wanna upload, I ain't even wanna work on my calls, none of that. I ain't no quarter. So I said, let me go ahead and get this stuff in motion. So, yeah. Like I said, we headed to the pull apart now. I'm about to get some pieces for the uh, for the van. That's all that's what I'm focused on today. The van. I ain't worried about the uh, Regal, ain't worry about none of that. Oh yeah, and on the Mercedes, as y'all seen in my uh, short, I done got the Mercedes painted. Mercedes look, I'm gonna do a video on that. They painted the wrong color. At the same time, the color look good. And by me saying it look good, I mean the paint look good paint job, it, it's straight. It just, they didn't do a little small detail like body work. They could have made it a little, little bit better. They didn't though, so yeah. That's another video. I done put all LEDs in here. They got to do the uh, fog lights. I do my fog light or uh, LEDs and we straight. I got some in there now. When I turn them on, it'll work about 10, 15 seconds. And then my passenger LED, it start blinking. And I don't know why I do that. So I got to fix that. But all the lights in the inside, good. It looks so good in here at night. I let my wife drive it all oh, one day. And shoot, man, that thing look, look like money going up the street. Like, for real. No one only paid, what, $1,500 for the car. Uh, you talking about somebody. Man, this, this is a nice car for what I paid for. So, like I said, I ain't going to do too much talking. I'm just going to, you know, turn y'all back on once I get to this uh, pull apart. Turn y'all on once I uh, go through the gates. Let y'all see what I got going on when I'm pull up. I mean, what I'm gonna uh, pull off and pull apart. All right. So I pulls up at pull apart, thinking they open at eight o'clock. They don't open till nine o'clock. So I gotta sit here for another thirty minutes waiting them to open. So yeah. <sighs> I get in there, I'm gonna turn y'all on, let y'all see where I'm going, what I gotta get. Morning, my YouTube fam. It's your boy RB. I'm back with another. As you see, I'm riding in the van today. But it ain't no joy ride though. Actually, I'm going to get me a water tank. Because if you know, I said about a month ago, and about to start my own business. So yeah, I decided I'm gonna do a uh, mobile detailing so at the moment I'm on my way to go pick me up a water tank I don't know if it's a 250 275 300 gallon I don't know I know when I get there so yeah out riding in the van man the van wait 
it won't turn around, but yeah. Van got 194,000 miles. I just gotta change some stuff on here. I know I gotta change the heater core and stuff like that. But other than that, man, the bad boy beast. I mean, it rides, it drives. You know, I gotta change the heater core because it leaks a little bit. Uh, I gotta change my brakes. I gotta uh, change the tires. You know, little small stuff like that. Change the oil, change the fluids, basically. But other than that, man, this thing run and drive like it's supposed to. Yeah. I'm just happy, man. I'm, I'm, I'm taking that step forward to doing, you know, some entrepreneur stuff. You feel me? Man, hey. I work hard to get to this point, so I said, why not? So, yeah, that's what I'm working on now. Yeah, I ain't gonna uh, talk you out of there because I'm holding this, uh, what's the name? I gotta get over. That look like a damn, what's the name? I ain't gonna hold y'all. I'm trying to uh, get to where I need to get to and get back. Cause this, hey. Glad I did. Trying to get to where I need to get to so I can uh, get back to the house. Cause y'all. Whew. Riding in this thing. Hey. If you know, you know. <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna hit y'all back once I get to uh get to my destination, let y'all see what's going on. Hey, for some reason I like that though. I can stick my uh, stick my phone in a couple and it'll hold. Yeah. Where I'm headed to is uh like 10 miles away from my house, so you know, I gotta take my time because shoot. You know, I'm out here thugging. Not trying to, but you know, sometimes. You gotta do wrong just to live right. Well, that's a quote from Clyde. <laughs> but hey. Yeah. Everything's, you know, I'm straight though. I got my license and all that. I got my license. I just don't got no registration. I ain't got no insurance or nothing like that. I just wanna, you know, I'm just riding. Get over here and get this uh get what I need to get going back to the house. US I ain't not just trying to showboat, I ain't not just trying to, you know, do too much. I'm not just trying to, you know, make a living for me and my family. You know? But in the meantime, like I said, I gotta do what I gotta do. So, 
Got the water tank. Only thing it is to it, when you sit it straight up, it's too, it's too high. So, what I think I'm gonna have to do is take the, uh, all that, take all that metal stuff out of it. Cause it's sitting too high. That's what I'm gonna end up doing. I could have got a smaller one, but I said, why well, get a smaller one when I can get this one, fill it up, let it fill up for however long it fill up, and I can let that water sit for how long I need it to sit instead of keep filling up, filling up, filling up, well, not keep filling up, but keep adding water, adding water like every other day. Just fill it up one time, at least once a week, or once every two weeks, just depends on you know how I wash and just go from there. Yeah, we slowly getting there. We, yo, it, it's a process, but we slowly getting there. Yeah, hit y'all back when I get to the house. I gotta figure out how I'ma do this all. I gotta figure out how I'ma cut this. But like right now, it's sitting here just fine, just like that. But it just when, when you sit it up, it sit too high. So, I'm pretty sure it's something smaller than this. I know it was something smaller than this. What I paid for this, I wouldn't have got nothing. I wouldn't have got this size right here. The price that I paid for. Wait, damn, that's ain't around. I wouldn't have got this right here for the price I paid for it. I wouldn't have got a smaller one for this price right here. For real. I wouldn't even got a rain bucket for the price I paid for this. You feel me? So that's the reason I got that. So well, the plan is to go ahead and go clean it up. I'm gonna go home and uh, pressure wash it and all that. Today, I'm at the house. I ain't got nothing to do. Uh, <laughs> you already know. Well, I ain't gonna say I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't got to be out in these streets or nothing. Go home. I gotta cut grass. I gotta go get some gas. I got my gas can right there. I'm gonna start getting some gas. Cut grass after I cut grass. I'm gonna rest for about an hour or two and come out and start washing, or washing the house cars. And after that, shit. If I wash the house cars, I'll probably uh, pressure wash that right there. But other than that, man, I ain't got nothing planned. See that the house is chill. But I ain't gonna hold y'all up. Just wanted to show y'all that right there. Gotta get it together. Gotta get it right. But I'll get back with y'all in a little bit.